Megan Williams and Chad Warren met when she was 16 and he was 26 years old, just a few days before he was diagnosed with an incurable blood cancer. Now, by the time they fell in love three years later, he had already lived longer than doctors expected. And the story of love loss was somewhat unexpected legacy being told here in the book from both points of view in Megan's brand new book, Our Interrupted Fairy Tale. And we are very pleased to have Megan Williams with us here this morning. Good morning to you. Okay, this is the book right here, Our Interrupted Fairy Tale. We're happy to have you share this story with us. So the idea to write this book was actually not yours, it was Chad's, uh, but relate to you in rather an unexpected way. So tell us how you discovered that. Um, yeah, so Chad and I were together for uh, quite a few years, and um, unfortunately, Chad died because of his blood cancer, but it was after that, after he died, I was going through a closet of, uh, that had garbage in it, and I was going through a garbage bag, and in the bottom of it, I found one of the diaries that he had kept when he was first diagnosed, when he was just 26. Mm. And in the, uh, I flipped to the back of that diary, and it said, publish this book when the time is right. There it is right there. Publish this book when the time is right. And when was the, t was the time right at that time for you? Uh, not quite. I was still very early days since he'd passed away and I missed him dearly so it was still um, it was still new feelings so it was always in the back of my mind that it was something I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, and two years after I found that diary entry I started on the book and two years later we're here again so and tell us about that process of piecing all of these things together because it's told from two point of views as we mentioned yours and his mm -hmm. What um, I think is making this story so successful so far is that it's told a little bit differently because it's not just my perspective, it's not just my memories of Chad, it's told from his, her story. So it's excerpts from his diary and his blog and love letters that we shared and emails and also mine. So you're getting the same story but told from Chad's perspective and mine. So. Mm -hmm. And what a gift for you to be able to do this and have your story live on essentially forever. Yeah, I really like that idea. I like that um, you know people who never had the chance to meet Chad are going to get the chance to learn about this great guy. And um, I like that our love has a bit of a legacy in that in 40 years from now, it'll be dusty on a bookshelf somewhere. And maybe either myself or somebody else can pick it up and just learn about it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. so. And something I think that many people would relate to, even though they haven't maybe experienced your story specifically. Yeah, I think, I mean, we all, I, most people I know, we all dream of finding a great love in our life. And if you're lucky enough to find that great love, you, the biggest fear that happens then is that something causes you to lose it. Mm -hmm. So in the event that love is lost, I think that is something, be it a breakup or illness, we can all relate to it somehow. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. And not only that, you're turning this into something positive. There's a charitable component to Chad's legacy. Chad's $1 million. So tell us what that is. Um, Chad's family started um, a foundation to help raise a million dollars for blood cancers. Mm -hmm. um, and it helps fund clinical trials. Chad's life was extended by a clinical trial. So it was his hope. He helped start the foundation when he was alive to help get other people um, the same kind of funding and opportunity that he was given. So, And how can people contribute? Uh, you can just visit Chad's One Million and um, learn a little bit more about Chad and what you're donating to and uh, help us boost the total to get closer to a million dollars. So. Good for you. Good for you. And how are you feeling today, four years later? I feel really good. I feel... Um, I, part of me still feels very emotional every time I talk about Chad and. Mm -hmm retell the story but the other part is I, I worked really hard to make sure that after Chad died that I, cancer didn't kill me as well mm -hmm. and I, I hope that being here and being able to share the story with other people that I'm able to stay the same person that he fell in love with and kind of keep him alive a little bit. It, so. I love that. So beautiful. What a beautiful uh, take. And you're sharing this with Calgary here and a couple of book signings. So we want to make sure we get to that. You'll be at Chapters Crowfoot today between noon and four. Indigo Signal Hill tomorrow between 10 and four and Chapters Chinook on Sunday between 12 and four. You have a busy weekend. I do. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Megan. And congratulations Thanks. on your accomplishment. What a beautiful story. It's called Our Interrupted Fairy Tale right here. And you can get it all over the city.